What's going on guys? Gomers here and oh boy do we have a fun one today. So jerseys for sports fans like you and I alike are quite important. It's a way for us to be uh, recognized and spread our allegiance to our fan bases or to be scrutinized when you're a Rays fan living in Minnesota and whenever you're wearing a piece of team gear it's you know. You from Florida? No. Uh, oh okay. Uh, so then it's just awkward for me and them. It, it's terrible. Don't try it. Just like your home team in that case. It's why more twin stuff than Rays. Um, but uh, it's always fun to see uniforms. And since Nike took over and uh, we started to see a lot more recreations, uh, a lot different alternates for uniforms, we've got some breath of fresh air into the MLB uniform lifespan, which is nice. And also an avenue for some abhorrent monstrosities. Uh, we haven't seen too many of those yet, but I'm sure they're going to come inevitably next year. But today, uh, we're going to be looking at some graphics, some mock-ups by JTC Ward on Reddit. Uh, we have 15 of them so far. We have all the American League East, the National League East, and the National League Central. Now, if you didn't hear me right there, I uh, suggest you rewind uh, the 5 to 10 seconds before you comment, uh, Oh, what about this team? Where's the Padres? Uh, you forgot the Rockies. Trust me, man, we're all waiting on what the Rockies uniform is going to look like so we can fantasize, have wet dreams about buying a Rockies jersey, right? Uh, you know, to go to their no doubt contending for playoffs. I, I don't know why I'm... Uh, putting so much malice towards them. I love you Rocky fans. We're gonna look through these as always leave a like if you guys do enjoy YouTube might have hit the dislike button, but I sure do appreciate likes uh, Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel and comments and favorites. I've uh, Looked through a couple of these some I like some not so much. Uh, we're gonna start with Boston not so much. Uh, the Red Sox, you might have remembered their yellow uniforms. Uh, they put them out to honor the Boston Marathon, which at first I thought it was, you know, weird to see the Red Sox were yellow, which it still is, but they've grown on me. I think they're kind of cool. And I like those more than this. It's red and Boston in blue. Uh, I think maybe if you would have outlined Boston in white, just to uh, add a little bit more pop, that would have been nice. This just looks bad. This looks, well, let me not say it. it doesn't look great. This looks like something we would have uh, in high school baseball as practice uniforms. And I went to a rural high school with not a huge budget. So I'm, I'm not a huge fan of these one for the Red Sox. Uh, for the Rays, I do like these. Um, the stripes are kind of throwing me off. I wish we could have stuck with one stripe. I don't need a Bumblebee Pittsburgh Steelers look right here. I appreciate uh, our baseball going in solidarity with uh, the lockout. That's, that's pretty cool. I just noticed that. Um, but of course, it's great to see the old logo back in all its glory. I have all the colors popping. The purple, the green, the blue, the yellow. It looks great. If the stripe was a single stripe, I think this would be like a 10 out of 10. Absolutely would buy. Especially now that we have assurance that a player's going to be in there for longer than six years. Congratulations, Wander. Very excited. I don't know what these are, man. The Yankees uh, are always tough. They're like, you know, uh, the NBA. They've done a lot of uniforms uh, here and out because Nike took over. They go really wild some years. Or some, near, or some teams... Don't go wild. They don't really change at all. Kind of like the Celtics jerseys. The Yankees, what do you do? You know, a lot of people were pissed just that the Nike swoosh messes up the Yankees' regular home and regular roads already. This just looks very odd. It's different. It's bold. I appreciate the gonads it takes to make a Yankees jersey like this, which is no doubt going to be criticized. It's not as bad as some concepts I've seen, and it actually... I'm mid on this one. I kind of like it almost. The alternating colors, the blue or the navy blue and red pinstripes, and then the NY. I don't know if I like it being that far apart. I, I guess I would really have to see like Aaron Judge wearing this. I would have to see a Brett Gardner, a more well-known Yankee, uh, wearing this to model it in, in its entirety. But not bad. Uh, I like this one more than the Red Sox, actually. Uh, the Blue Jays. The logo uh, right there, this kind of looks 
like the Blue Jays now. It's the same uh, same format, just not as good. I, I don't think it the blue really meshes. It's a lighter blue on top of their primary, and then you have the red in the middle outlining the letters. Uh, not a fan of that. I wish would have been more creative and took a little bit more risk because this is going by the numbers Just changing what's already good about it. I like the Blue Jays uh, Blue and red primary or you know home alternate whatever you have you uh, so not huge on these ones and then Baltimore I'm not sure what's too different <laughs> about these. Yeah, it's uh, replacing Orioles with Baltimore No uh, Why? Uh, again, mixtape uniforms, different eras, and that's where you get this side logo right here. But a lot of times you can't even see that, you know. You're, you're hardly going to be able to notice that. And just changing this up, which, you know, I know the Orioles have kind of kept it pretty consistent. They've had a pretty similar color scheme the majority of their uh, history. Not a huge fan, so if I have to rank these out of the five, the Rays, wouldn't you guess it's going to be number one? This Yankees one is second. I'll probably put Baltimore just because it's hard to fuck up an Orioles jersey. Then Boston four, Blue Jays five. Wasn't a huge fan of these five. NL East, some more interesting colors. We're going to start out with the Florida slash Miami Marlins, uh, which adopts the old word mark, the new Marlin. And then the 2012 through like 2015 logo. This is just, that's a horrible on the patch right there. The only good memories that you could possibly bring out of that is Jose Fernandez and a Giancarlo Stanton MVP. Who got traded alongside Yelich and uh, Marcel Ozuna and Rio Mito. So not great memories uh, from that time for Marlins fans. Um, honestly, I would have appreciated just something more like they're old. You know, I... I don't like this on the patch here. I think if you would have just stuck with the combo of the new Marlins, which has had a redemption arc from this travesty, I think it would have been a bit cooler. Um, it's still not bad. I, I like the Marlin teal. It, it still looks nice, and then this brings some good nostalgia as well. So uh, pretty solid. Let's look at the Nationals, which wouldn't you know it? is a little different. The Nationals reminds me of the early days after they uh, first became a team in Washington after getting rid of the Expos. Um, and then this logo, it's kind of like a mashup of the Washington and Expos, or at least the color scheme, which is pretty fucking cool. I know that's the second F-bomb, but that kind of emphasizes how I feel about this one. Then you have a very unique blue. It's not like the blue on the Royals, the Twins, the Rangers, that half the teams have secondaries of now. This is really nice. This is the best one I've seen so far, even better than the Rays. The Braves, Gomer Seuss, has this uh, retro throwback just way too big right here. I'm a big fan of that white with that on the sleeves. I see Acuna in that. It looks great. Reminds me of Henry Aaron. Um, it's just too big. <laughs> It looks like bird wings almost, or a big Washington Wizards logo from the side profile, which uh, isn't too good of a look. I'm not a huge fan of this, because if you take that out, then it's essentially just a Braves uniform, which doesn't look bad. I, the Braves probably have some of the best uniforms in the game currently. Eh. New York Mets is going to be New York across the front, and then orange. I like this. I don't think they have too many orange uniforms. I'm not sure if they have one that they regularly wear. I really like the black ones that they brought back. It's a good look. I think New York, again, it's something different, which is what I'm looking for. I don't want it to just be by the numbers and safe. If it looks terrible, I mean, oh well, you wasted some time. But at least it's not going to be, yeah, you just changed a few things. And uh, I do like these, you know, overall. These are all cool to look at. And the Mets, I think this is a good one. So that's nice. And then the Phillies is going to have their uh, old kind of P, I think Philadelphia Athletics sort of thing going on. And then a Mike Schmidt era logo. This one's kind of cool. We have the Bryce Harper 3, the MV3 there. This one's not bad. Very basic, very plain, but it's a very old franchise dating back. Um, 
Although it's still not one of my favorites. I just don't think this kind of uniform really holds up. Uh, kind of looks like a Tigers uniform, just different colors. So Nationals will be number one. Number two is going to be the Mets. Three will have the Marlins. Uh, four Braves, and then five is going to be the Phillies right there. Uh, NL Central, last five, we have St. Louis, who again looks like they're doing an old style word mark across the chest. And again, maybe it's just it doesn't work well with the red background. Maybe if it was like a charcoal gray, it would pop more. But it just looks messy, I guess. A really big logo on the side there looks a little older as well. Um... They're okay, not a huge fan of those. The Cubs got really wild with their, uh, you know, what, whatever Nike's calling it. The Who Dad, What's It, uh, Refresh. You, you know what I'm talking about. Where it's like navy blue and blue. <laughs> it, it looks okay. This one, again, is pretty interesting. Um, we're going to have blue with like 30 different stripes across different patterns. Pin stripes, jersey stripes. The old style Cubs logo on the chest, which is pretty trademark, pretty on brand for the Cubs, of course, at least for homes. Um, it's okay. It's a lot going on. Too many stripes, in my opinion. Too many different patterns going on at once. I think if it was just the pinstripes and then the logo here, it would work pretty well. But there's just kind of too much going on with these right here. I'm not a huge fan of that. Uh, the reds, this is great. Again, this is playing it pretty safe, but... I'm a big fan of the old Mr. Red right here. And you have the numbers, it looks very clean. Red, white, red. I'm trying to think of a fancy word, but I can't, so I'm gonna call it red, white, red. Uh, looks, looks great, looks pristine, uh, if you will. And then you have the gray with the nice uh, thin red pinstripes going down. The best one so far, big fan of this one. The Pirates, again, one of the best uniforms in the game, one of the best stadiums. One of the worst teams, unfortunately. However, thank you for glass snow and Austin Meadows. Uh, the Pirates going to have an uh, old school word mark across uh, the chest here. It's going to be yellow. Looks very Clemente, very Stargell era-esque. Kind of hard to see Brian Reynolds or so wearing this nowadays. Looks dated, but it doesn't look bad per se. Looks pretty good. I do like their uniforms they have now, though. The new ones that they introduced, big fan of those. And then Brewers, uh, it's essentially taking their old logo with the new colors, I would say. Which is an interesting look, I suppose. Uh, this is not my favorite shade of blue. It's a little too dark. It's not like the Nationals quite. It's uh, just a little off-putting, I guess I would say. Uh, then you have their, you know, Prince Fielder era, I'll just call it Ryan Braun, <laughs> if you will. Uh, Brewers across there. Uh, then you have their, like, kind of older logo, I guess, like Paul Molitor days. And, uh, yeah, kind of a mashup, which a lot of these are. It's mixtape uniforms, a culmination of their history. So, uh, for these, I would rank them. Number one is easily the Reds, not even close. Uh, good lord. Second is pro <laughs> Second's probably the Pirates, then Cubs. Then Cardinals, and then uh, Brewers, uh, I guess. Well, you can kind of put them in any order there. I'm not a... The NL Central's pretty weak. The NL East, he was in his bag. And I'm pretty excited to see the next 15. And if you guys do enjoy this video and want to see a part 2 in the next 15 all released for the AL Central, for the AL West, and the NL West, uh, make sure to leave a like down below. Comment which ones that you guys like the most. Because uh, some of these I could legitimately see wearing, right? Now, if the Reds had some better play, <laughs> if the Reds had some better players, now we would be talking. If they weren't considering trading every possible asset they have, but the Nationals, I would love a Juan Soto in that. Christ, that looks good. Uh, leave a like if you guys enjoy. As always, subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. There goes some out. Yeet.